A standoff between people exercising their right to vote and those fearing the system is being cheated. This is Varnica, a border town linking Moldova to the self-declared unrecognized Republic of Transnistria, a fiercely pro-Russian enclave and strongly supportive of the pro-Moscow incumbent president Igor Dodon. Here it is a battle for hearts and minds between Moldova and Russia in this ex-Soviet state wedged between Romania and Ukraine, an area known for contraband trade where tensions have often been difficult to contain. And it's been exacerbated by years of political instability and corruption. This is the problem of all uh, institutions in Moldova. We have weak institutions uh, that uh, doesn't follow the rule uh, in this situation to ensure that the electoral code is, uh, is applied. In an election where every vote counts, what international observers are most worried about is the threat of manipulated voting. And here on the border of Transnistria is where they are most concerned about that issue. On top of all the issues facing Moldova, a bitter divisive political landscape has marred any possibility for progress. Regional power, Russia, has thrown its weight behind Igor Dodon. His abrasive manner and populist touch have found favor with his base. I voted for social justice, for a developed economy. I voted for our values, for what makes us stronger, for Christian values. But not everyone is convinced remaining within Moscow's sphere of influence is to the country's benefit. Dodon was caught out by his pro-Western opponent in the first round, Maya Sandu. She says she wants to tackle corruption in a country that has been racked by political instability and a $1 billion bank fraud scheme that saw the equivalent of 15% of Moldova's GDP disappear. Currently, more than a million Moldovans live or work abroad. A lack of opportunities in one of Europe's poorest nations means that remittances are currently propping up the economy. Many Moldovans living abroad, mostly in Western countries, have more affinity with Sandu's vision, and this year, double the amount have voted since the previous election in 2016. The Moldovans abroad came uh, just because they know this is their duty, and no matter how, how far away they are from their homes, they, are, they feel that their participation makes the difference. This is an election where the country will decide whether it will stick with the status quo or not. For Russia, mass protests against its allies in Belarus and Kyrgyzstan, it is another post-Soviet country that is at the crossroads, with many watching which direction it will take. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Chisinau.